Ron Barron, billionaire Ron Barron has some interesting, some would say shocking predictions about the stock market. One video and one video only to react to in this one. When it's Ron Barron on, folks, we just react to him, okay? And that's all we're going to worry about. So appreciate everybody joining me as always, folks. And thank you for being subscribed. New all-time high subscribers in the history of the channel. I appreciate y'all being here. Also, got a free value for you. That's going to be pinned comment down there. If you make less than $100,000 or more than $100,000 a year, I have two different workshops for you guys. Absolutely free to access those investing this year and beyond. Alrighty, let's jump into this. Been on a big run the last few months. It's up 115% so far in 2023. And our next guest is one of Tesla's biggest shareholders. Joining us right now in an exclusive interview is Ron Barron. He's the chairman and CEO of Barron Capital. And Ron, it's good to see you. It's good to have you here in the studio. It's great to see you too. Uh, so I just want to say before I left home, uh, my wife says to me this morning, I don't want you telling any more of your weird stories. <laughs> that, that was going out the door. Don't tell any of your weird stories. And so just one little story. Uh, uh, I'm not going to tell you this either. The other one I'm going to tell you later. Yeah. Uh, I thought we were going to get in the interview right now. If you, if um, you can't do any of your, uh, what are we going to talk about? So, so the first thing is I want to thank you. So congratulations, Joe, on your Bitcoins. Uh, uh, amazing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, number one. Number two, uh, I've been in this program for 17 years. Lori Ann just told me 17 years. So because of you, people recognize me everywhere. It's just amazing. You know, to say thank you, walk, walk over to me all the time. I'm walking to work the other day down Park Avenue, and a woman comes running at me. I'm going north, south, and she's going north. She comes at me, and she grabs my horns, and she says, thank you, thank you. I love my smile. I said, well, I'm not your doctor. And she says, well, who are you? And I said, well, I'm, I'm Ron Barron. And she says, Ron Barron, you're that really cool guy on CNBC all the time. <laughs> yeah. Well, you must get that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty amazing. Right. That, that's, uh, that's the weirdest story. It's all relative, too. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. right. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. So what do you want to talk first? You want to talk the broad? I hope someday I'm cool because I've never had somebody come up to me in real life and say, oh, you're that cool guy from YouTube. Markets picture. Do you want to talk Tesla and the run up of it? Let's see. Well, so, so I just want to mention for a second about I'll talk about that in just a minute. I know that's where you want to get to. But uh, you, yesterday or the day before, I was watching your show, and you talked about ESG and how uh, a lot of states are passing legislation or trying to pass legislation to say you shouldn't consider those factors. I should only consider how you can make the most money. And I would point out that we do consider those factors. We do consider good governance, how you treat employees. If you're not treating your employees well, uh, how are you going to retain them? Uh, how are you going to hire the best? And how are you going to uh, keep them? How are you going to train them? So basically, uh, we're interested in these things, and also we're interested in making sure that the companies in which we're investing uh, haven't got these risks that I, we're not aware of. So we do, we are conscious of that. And to argue against the idea that it's not important about how much money you're able to, uh, only making most money is what's important, uh, that we've been uh, conscious of this. And because of that, we've outperformed. So 98.8% of our stocks have done, of our funds have done better than the market. And 45.5% uh, are in the top 1%. Not only in the top 1%. Uh, very impressive. That's very, very, very impressive. Wow. Number one in their categories. And Barron Partners Fund happens to be the number one performing mutual fund in the United States since 2003 when it became a mutual fund. So, so we have been able to perform well. Man's got the numbers. Man's got the numbers. You don't become a billionaire by accident. Into account these Let elements. me just say, though, ESG, I think it depends on who's using it and how they're measuring it. Obviously, you're not going to say you're against the environment. You're not against social or governance issues. Um, but sometimes people get in and measure things in crazy ways. And I, I think oh, a I lot agree. of the pushback comes from the bureaucracy. Hey, what's Mr. Chief Fan doing back here? You, you watching from out there, dude? It's kind of creepy. I don't know about that, man. You see that comes from this and the greenwashing that this is used to dress up or dress down other places. And I think part of the problem comes from, you know, big institutional shareholders who have said you're going to do things this way. And it's not their money that they're even talking about. I agree. Well, we're not like that. Yeah, I, I, I think it's it, I think this argument gets so convoluted because it really depends on what what you're talking about when you say ESG. That's got to be me when I go to New York City someday. I'm going to be in the background like waving like, hey, guys, look at me. And then I'm going to react to it. I'm going to do a reaction on the reaction channel about me in the background. I agree. 
I agree. Anyway, so we are conscious of how companies act and how they treat people and how they treat shareholders. And so, uh, so we're aware of all these things. Um, our business, uh, we keep expanding. Uh, we've never had a layoff in the history of our business. So therefore, uh, people feel comfortable working for us. They trust us. Uh, and we just keep growing. Uh, so we're now 197 people, 45 are analysts, portfolio managers. Uh, and uh, we do the best we can for our clients and we do the best we can for uh, our, our customers uh, and uh, our, our, our employees and shareholders. And so one of the things I think is really important is that uh, we don't worry about the stock market, we don't worry about interest rates, the economy, what the government's gonna do, wars. Uh, uh, in my whole history, there's never been uh, a good news year, with one exception, when they took down the wall in uh, between East and West Germany. That's it. Ooh. One good year Ooh. from a whole. Great point you just made there. Don't let the point Ron Barron just made there go over your head. Okay, that was extremely important. What he's basically pointing out, and I point this out, you know, many many times over time, is you are always going to have so many freaking problems. Either worries about the economy, worries about company earnings, worries about geopolitical problems, and this and that. There's going to be a million problems, and it's never going to go away. And so understanding that you are going to have to deal with a million worries all the time, you have to move forward and just say, the worries are going to be what the worry is going to be. Let it be what it's going to be. I've got to focus on finding great companies to invest in at attractive valuations, and I'm going to do that, regardless of all the million fears out there, because there's going to be a million fears and anxieties and things to worry about. It is what it is. We've got to move forward here on this, folks, okay? And we've got to find opportunities out there, and we've got to take advantage of those opportunities and live life, okay? And so let that point be made there, because a lot of people think, oh, I'll, I'll just invest when everything looks good. When the coast is clear, there will never be that moment. There will never be that moment. There's always going to be things to worry about, okay? So if you can't deal with that, then you can't be an investor in the market. And uh, yet, uh, the stock market in this whole period of time, uh, with terror attacks and inflation and wars and pandemics, uh, with all of that going on, the stock market is up 34 times since 1970 when I began my career. It was 1,000 then, it's now 34,000. And the economy, by the way, in that whole period of time, it's also up, uh, it's up 33 times. It's gone from $800 billion of, of GDP uh, to 26 and a quarter billion. So despite all this stuff, everyone talks about all day long and trying to figure out what's gonna happen, uh, market's up 33 times. And what I think is growth is now beginning to accelerate and over the next 50 years. Before we get to his prediction here, which is pretty shocking when you hear this, okay? But in where he thinks the actual, the stock market's going in terms of the Dow. Like, think about the performance. You know, the Dow's 34 times, what do he say, since 1970 or whatever? Like, think about that for a moment. Think about that and think about all the things we had to worry about. That sky-high inflation we had to deal with in the 1970s that was so awful. Then a massive recession. It, well, we probably had a couple of recessions uh, during that whole era of high inflation. But specifically, if I recall, we had a really bad one around 80, 81, 1980, 1981, right? We had the stock market crash of 1987, which was absolutely insane. If I recall, the SP 500 fell, I think it was 22 plus percent in a day. In a day. Um, you had that whole situation. You had to go through the tech bubble in the wind down of that, where the NASDAQ fell like, what was it, 80% plus? Insane. Like, eh, are you flipping my flapjacks? That's, that's crazy. Had to deal with 9 11. Had to deal with Afghanistan and Iraq and those conflicts. Plus, I've had a bunch of other conflicts we were in back in the 70s and 80s and in the 90s. And now, a once in a hundred year pandemic. My gosh, man, we could go on all day about everything that's drama that has been bad in the world that has happened in the past 50, 60 years. And what did you get for it? A Dow that went up, as he says, 34 times. Let that sink in for a moment. Now, let's get into Ron Barron's absolutely epic prediction for where he thinks the Dow is going. Compared to the last 50 years, I think that you're going to have faster growth uh, than 7%. But uh, assuming that you get the same 7%, that means that you're going to have 35 times your money over the next 50 years, which means that the Dow Jones, which is now 34,000, will be 900,000. Uh, so, so when everyone talks about it, 
well, is it going to be 32,000 or 33,000 or 30? I'm thinking about 900,000. Why do you think faster growth? 900,000 on the Dow, folks. 900,000. The Dow is like 33,000 right now. Or is it, or are we at 34? I think we're at 30, 33,000 on the Dow right now. Um, let's check here. Uh, the Dow right now is at 33,600. He says his baby's going to 900,000 over the next 50 years. 900,000. That means we're going to have to be over 100,000 likely on the Dow within the next 10 years and then go from there. Over the next 50 years, because there's a lot of people who think, let's say over the next 10 years, you could see much slower growth than 7%. I mean, that's been the concern for a long time. Well, uh, inflation is 4 or 5% of that 7% hey, growth. What is flipping Flapjack and Patrick Mahomes doing out here? Inflation is 4 or 5 Dude, do something like, like, I don't know about this, man. Come on, Mahomes. Like, you got to move around. Like, you know, do something. Like, this is creepy. Like, I don't think he can hear the show. Let's be honest. It's probably like five inches of glass right there. I don't think he can even hear the show. The fact that he's just like looking in there, it gets a little creepy at some point in time, man. I feel like if he had like some people with him, maybe that might make it a little less intimidating, like a woman or some kids or something. But man, it's just like, you can't hear what's going on. So you're just looking. I don't know what I'm saying. Of that 7% growth and real growth has been 2%. And all the growth that's really happened in the world has taken place in the past uh, 20, 30, 40 years. And, uh, and that's accelerating so because of technology. So you expect inflation, but you expect inflation to be higher too? I expect inflation to be as it always has been, as it has been in every single democracy that's ever existed, 4 or 5% a year. So I think everything is going to uh, you know, be twice as expensive in, uh, in, in 14 or 15 years than it is today. So it might touch down at 2 or 3%. Uh, but even Volcker, when he left, in 1986 or 87, even then it was down to 3% from 18 or 19. We've gone from 9 or 9.5 to 4 or 4.5 or something like that. So maybe go a little bit lower, uh, but it's not going to stay lower. And it's, it's part of our, uh, of our economic program. So I'll get to my prediction here in just a moment in terms of if I think that's accurate or not, okay? Uh, one thing I will say is I wanted to actually watch that whole Ron Barron piece. Um, so I looked on Fubo, and on Fubo, they basically have it on demand, but the problem is you have to you can't fast forward it. So unfortunately, uh, we're not going to watch the two hour entire program here. Um, although, you know, you never know. Maybe someday, okay. But bottom line is, what do I think about Ron Barron's prediction there about faster economic growth, about a Dow at at nine hundred thousand? My belief is it's probably right. Uh, things getting much more expensive and doubling in price over the next 13, 13 14 years. He's probably right. Um, He's probably right, it's just about all that. Um, obviously, we're not going to know for many, many decades from now, but if I had to guess, he's probably right on every prediction he just made there. And as far as economic growth, when I look at some of these emerging markets and how much they're going to grow in their middle classes um, over, obviously, the next, next many decades, when I think about how much more connected we are, how much easier it is to do business around the world than it's ever been at any point, and imagine where we're going to be in... 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 30 years from now, um, obviously with AI and how much that's going to change every sector, everything. Um, yeah, his predictions are probably right on. So Ron Barron, always smart, always genius is a reason he's had the level of success he's had in the market and uh, obviously financially. So appreciate you guys as always. Thanks so much for being here, folks. Uh, new all-time high subscribers. Make sure you get your free resource that is pinned comment down there. Free workshop, whether you make less than $100,000 a year or more than $100,000 a year. It's a free workshop for you investing in 2023 and beyond that is pinned comment. Much love and have a great day.